Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here. Today, we're going to be reviewing the sixth and final figure for our 20 year anniversary celebration for Walking With Dinosaurs. And this is going to be the, the figure based on an animal that starred in episode six, Death of a Dynasty, or Dynasty, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I chose Tyrannosaurus Rex, and to represent that animal, today we're going to be reviewing the Papo Brown Standing T-Rex. I don't think I need to do this, but I will anyway. Tyrannosaurus Rex is a Tyrannosaurid theropod dinosaur that lived in North America during the end of the Cretaceous period, 67 to 65 million years ago. I don't think this needs any introduction, but I gave it one anyway. Okay, so right off the bat, bam, Jurassic Park. This is a very famous figure. Uh, because of its strong resemblance to the Jurassic Park T-Rex and I think it does a wonderful job of representing that animal granted accuracy uh, not so much <laughs> film accuracy 100% this looks amazing uh, in terms of paleontological accuracy yeah there's not quite <laughs> it's not quite there okay so starting off with the head sculpt we can see we have an articulated jaw and the teeth have been wonderfully sculpted and painted. There's basically no bleeding and the interior of the mouth is so well sculpted that you can see the glossy, genuine wet look of the roof of the mouth and then there's a wet tongue in there. And as always with Papo figures, the detail is amazing. The scales, you can practically see every single one. It's incredible. It's got that very distinct Jurassic Park uh, head sculpt with a lot of shrink wrapping going on. You can see the uh, antorbital fenestra very clearly here in the orbit and the postorbital fenestra. Got this very odd nasal ridge, which I don't think was present in T-Rex. This, this head is also very um, boxy compared to an actual Tyrannosaurus head. It's very blocky. It should be a lot smoother. It should be more of a, a a smoother decline as you go down the the snout. But that's okay. I've got the pupil in there, the nicely seated eye. Almost looks like he's wearing mascara or oh, eye eye shadow. There we go. Got these two um, ridges over the uh, eyes here, which I believe were present in T Rex, but not quite like this. That is very menacing though, head, head on. We have binocular vision, which is very cool. Onto the neck, we can see we've got a vein here and a lot of skin folds. It's very wonderfully done. And the coloration, while it is brown, which is known for not being the most exciting color, we have some very faint black stripes going down the body. Well, not black, but very dark brown. And it, they look wonderful. They really do just, they just make it feel so much more realistic. I really enjoy that. You get scale detail looking at the torso and then we get to the famous puny arms. Unfortunately we have pronated wrists but they do in the film so it's okay. Um, these are quite soft plastic so uh, I'd say younger viewers do be careful you don't break these because they could come off. They're not brittle or anything but I'd say still be careful pectoral muscles, the skin detail underneath is magnificent, wonderfully done. Got some pectorals, very prevalent, it's a very strong animal. Moving down to uh, the, the hips, these are really well done. And very muscular legs, like the calves here and the thighs, wonderfully done. Got the crease here, and then we get to the feet, we've got bird feet, perfect. Three claws, now dew claw. I think these are quite big for T-Rex feet, but again, I'd rather have a figure with oversized feet than a figure that constantly falls over. That's my view. Of course, it depends on how big and how egregious you are with the feet oversizing. Now, the tail is pretty inaccurate. This would be completely broken, but it's matching that one scene at the end of the first Jurassic Park film. So I guess in that sense I'll let it slide, but in terms of paleontological accuracy, 
this is a completely broken tail and is not realistic at all. It just, this, the, the presentation of this figure is honestly just amazing. There's a reason why it's so popular. It just captures the Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus perfectly. Now, in terms of the size, it's a pretty big figure. So in terms of the height, uh, just over 16 centimeters tall. In terms of the length, this is a tricky one to do. Um, I'd say about 17 or 18 centimeters long. Um, I guess let's do width as well. This one's going to be awkward as well. In terms of the width from that foot to that foot, I'd say just about 12 centimeters. It's a very heavy figure as well. Okay, I think that's all I have to say. Uh, if you would like one for yourself, go to everythingdinosaur.com. Their service is fantastic. Uh, if you'd like to check out my review of the episode Death of a Dynasty, which is the sixth episode of Walking with Dinosaurs, stay tuned for the end card that will be on in a moment. I love this figure for what it represents. It's an amazing representation of the Jurassic Park T-Rex. And I think it's just a really cool figure. If you're not too bothered about accuracy, I'd say get this figure. If you are, uh, this might not be for you. Either way though, I adore this Tyrannosaurus model. Thank you guys all for watching. And thank you so much for celebrating 20 years of walking with dinosaurs with me. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now.